Hello, hello! How is everyone doing today? I hope you're all doing well. Yeah, um, between streams, so it's been a little bit, for, first of all, but, um, between streams, I went and marked down where the last six shrines are. So we're not exploring around so much, like, we just know where they are. So, one is here, one is here, we got two here. Uh, this is the Blood Moon Shrine, and then this is, like, the final shrine, or whatever it's called. So, yeah. Um, we're going to be going to all the other shrines, and then whenever a Blood Moon happens, we have to teleport here and, like, rush over. It's, like, pertinent to just go. So, yeah. Um, let's go. Like, here. So yeah, um, if we have extra time today, I think we're going to work on some quest stuff, um, and then I don't know how much more, how many more streams we're going to do of Breath of the Wild. I want the final thing we do, uh, to be the Ganon fight. I really want to wrap up with the Ganon fight. But, um kind of hard to plan out the timing for the Ganon fight, you know? Uh, nope. Let's just put this on. There we go. Um, and we're wanting to go here. We're going this way somewhere. Where exactly? Who knows? Just somewhere in this area. Okay, we actually have a decent place to go still. Oh, um, this... We were here at the start of the game. Um, it'll actually probably be in episode four-ish, uh, of the highlights, but, um, we were there for, uh, the, what's it called? There, there was like a thief or something and left his treasure behind or something along those lines. I need to go this way so I can walk around a little bit. I see some bombable rocks there. Hmm. Uh, let's wear the swim clothes. a standing spot like here -ish. yeah <laughs> yep 
There we go. Huzzah. We did it. Toto Sa Shrine. Onwards to Toto Sa. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, uh, over the weekend, uh, streams were canceled, and a bit sorry about that, but I was not feeling well. I'm feeling much better now, but ugh, it, it was kind of rough over the weekend. Motion control shrine. Um, I should cancel, and... Okay. Oh. Okay. Sure. Shield of the Mind's Eye. Intended to decrease blind spots without sacrificing too much defense. Um... Nothing else here. Just checking around a little bit. This feels like it was supposed to be the first motion control shrine. Could be wrong, but that's just what it immediately feels like. Super intuitive controls. Not an issue at all to control. <laughs> um, and I didn't see any chests on there. Um, we don't have the little chest icon, so we're not finished here yet. Okay. Flat. Gosh, how do I press the B button here? There we go. <laughs> I have the controller like upside down. <laughs> Small key. Okay. So that's all chests gotten here. Um. Oh, I should reset this. No. Ah, come back here. Something like this. Ish. Okay. Close enough. <laughs> Yeah, it's at a little bit of a slope. It's not that big a deal, though. It's a very cool geometric design here, though. I like it. Hello. It is bloopin' time. Hand. And... Promise of a hero, we get the spirit orb. May the goddess smile upon you. Yep. Mm. I'm still not feeling like a hundred percent from Hold on, it's, it's raining inside the cave. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not quite feeling 100% yet. Um, I'm feeling like 95%, but not 100%. I'll get there eventually, you know? But 
Just not there yet. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. We are going south. To there. Okay. Not the most glorious jump I've ever had, but it'll work. I like the hot springs here. They look nice. on top of this to see exactly where this is. It's close enough that it's not showing up on the map. Or... Ah, there it is. Tamul Shrine. Flame blade. Kitten Chuckle Nugget. Hello! How you doing? I hope you're doing well. <laughs> well, that didn't work as I was expecting. Can I just stand next to the leaves? No. Hmm. Well. Let's get my fan going, and then... I guess we can... Take out Bo and do this? It feels like this is where it wants me to go. Yeah, look at that. I don't think there would be anything with this set of cards. I hope you're doing well, Kitten Chuckle Nugget. It's been a little bit. Mostly on my end, but... <laughs> Um, there's another chest through there. And you know what? We can do this to save on the fire flames. That did not work as I was hoping. Chest? Hello. Stone Smasher, I like the Stone Smasher. Um, what do I get rid of? Probably the electric blade on the left. I want to check the stats on this again. 42. Long throw, that's such a weird effect to apply to it. Um... You know what? We get rid of this one. 
Because the high durability is pretty nice. Whereas long throw is like literally a non-issue. Yes? Okay. Well, the... Uh, sure. <laughs> also, is this... Okay, that had a key in it. Um... Not a key, it had an opal in it. So that breaks that down. And then that's a key? Is that metal? It is metal. Oh, uh, I can bring it over. <laughs> there we go. When I broke this and there wasn't a key inside, I was like, what? That's very weird, but... Nope, that that was uh intended. <laughs> Ruby. Cool. You know, I've just been hoarding all these gems. Like, I'm not doing crafting with them. They just sort of exist. <laughs> uh uh, just make sure. Yep, that's everything. Boopin' time! Boop. Resourcefulness, promise of a hero, spirit orb, and onwards we go. So we now have four shrines left. Uh, once we complete... There, there's like... There's three we can definitely do. Sorry, four that we can definitely do. One that I think is gated behind all the others being completed. And then one that we need to wait on the Blood Moon for. This one's the Blood Moon one. So. Yeah. Uh, this one I think is gated behind all the other ones. So let's go for the other two, and then once we finish these other two, we can take a look at the final temple, see if there's anything we can do there. If not, uh, then we're going to go and do some quests while we wait for a blood moon to happen. Okay. So, edit stamp to be that. It might... It's better to go up here and glide down. Because from here we'll have to walk because we don't have uh, Majesty around. But from up here we can glide down. And gliding is almost as fast as the horseback riding. Especially since we can just, uh, you know, fly straight there and not have to deal with any uh, twists and turns and all that? Uh, yes, okay. This is a man just very fascinated with, uh, flight. No! Ah, shit, I, I hate that. I hate that dive is, like, it looks really pretty, but it's, like, actually mechanically really frustrating. Ooh, I'm gonna go for a dive and lose a lot of my height. Great! Yes, fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted, Breath of the Wild. That's exactly what I wanted. I went to the high point so I could take a fanciful, fanciful dive down into the water. I 
already shrine nearby from here? Can I see it from here? I don't think so. Ooh, we're gonna have to deal with some flying guardians. There's at least three flying guardians that I can see. Ugh, this looks like beehives, or... Ugh. I don't know what exactly it looks like, but it is setting off my tryptophobia, so I'm gonna move away. This is a Korok? Hello? You found me. Bye bye Bonk. Um, I'm actually supposedly right on top. Uh, this must be it then, right? Oh, yep, I see it there. Um... Sorry, Fox. Didn't mean to burn things up. Behind this bombable rock here. Noya Nea Shrine? Ooh, wood bundles. We love to see that. Down we go. <laughs> Minor test of strength. Easy. Um, I think. Critical hit? I think we use this. Yeah. Let's use this. Uh, actually... We'll get a decent amount of damage up, but, like, this is just so good for Guardian Resist. It basically makes damage against the Guardians a non-issue. Ooh, an axe. Yes. Ah. Here we go. Go ahead and run into this. Non issue. You love to see it. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop this just to see. Thirty. I dropped that for the Great Thunderblade, honestly. Mm. Yeah. As much as I love the axes, I don't think it's worth. The Great Blades are like the same class of weapon as the axes, so it's not like a huge trade off. 
Knight shield. Gladly take that. Need a lot more shields. Okay. Boopin' time. Boop. From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. May the goddess smile upon you. Okay. One more. And then we have the rest kind of up in the air for what we can do. Daruk's protection is now ready to roll. Thank you, Daruk. So. We're going to go back to Hyrule Castle. Because... Supposedly... The last shrine is there. I see a Korok here. I also see a bunch of mushrooms. I'm grabbing the mushrooms. Okay. Already truffles. I think I saw it over there. Yep, right there. Nice. Yeah, ha ha! You found me. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. In the first episode, I spent an embar uh, uh, wow embarrassing amount of time trying to get the last apple from the tree. And I still don't know how to get the last apple from the tree. <laughs> Ooh, some eggs? I'll take those. Eggs are good. Eggs are very good. There's lots of weird, like, patches on the ground. Like, I don't know what is supposed to be with those. Like, if it's trying to tell some sort of story or something, but, yeah. That's a proper guardian there. Uh, I think I'm just gonna get out of here and boat on over. Okay. Nope, wrong thing. Yes. Okay. And away we go. like the back side is where I'm trying to find. Please don't bonk. This way. Like that big opening right there. Hmm. 
There is a set of docks over here. I wanted to make sure to explore all of this here as well, like pretty thoroughly. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to just switch to this. Okay, that's Shadow from over there. <laughs> These pretty consistently, uh get respawned. It's like daily or something like that. Jump in the water, thank you. Uh oh. Climb out of the water, please. Thank you. <laughs> that all taken care of. It's kind of annoying that it goes to, like, this big map. Um, also, let me double-check the interactive map. Um, Breath of the Wild Shrine Interactive Map. It is in the basement of Hyrule Castle. Okay. So I am in the correct place. I'm guessing up a floor from where I currently am? If it's the Blood Moon while I'm in here, I will have no way of knowing. Until it's basically too late. Although maybe a Blood Moon just can't spawn while I'm here. Okay. Um, I think I gotta go up a floor here. In the docks. There we 
go. Welcome to Sas uh, Kosa Shrine. And this is a major test of strength. Major tests of strength are kind of rough. So let's hope that uh, we can get through this relatively easily. Uh, and there's no pill. Oh, there, there is magnets. There is magnetic uh, lockers. Hi there. Ah. Badly damaged. Um. Let's. I think we're gonna get some pretty decent weapons here. Let's just go ahead and use this. That was a very late dodge. I honestly shouldn't have gotten that. Okay. Honestly, the axe dodges are the easiest ones. Like, I can read those really well. The spear and sword dodges are a little bit harder for me to read. Not horrible, but just, just a tiny bit. Just a little bit. Okay. We're gonna do that thing again, so I just stand here. Nope. See, with the axe, it's so easy to tell. Use this. Every hit is a crit. Okay. Oh, it's this. Normally like to wrap up with a deflect, but it's fine. Played a little bit safer. Um, we'll grab the sword. Can we grab the spear? Um, I think we drop this for a moment and see what this has. Twenty. No. Okay. That was a pretty good fight. Feel like I handled that pretty well. I did take one hit, uh, and the guardian resist uh, definitely helped out there. <laughs> Flame blade for forty, right? No, it's twenty-four. Nah. In the basement of Hyrule Castle, here's a sword for twenty-four. No, thank you. Boop in time. From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. Spirit orb. May the goddess smile upon you. Okay, now we need to get out of here. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not, I'm not doing Hyrule Castle yet. Uh, soon, but not yet. There's some sort of skit I'm thinking of where it's just, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I, I I really don't remember what the skit was about, but I just have that line in my head. and It's like, yes, th this is funny. I don't know why, but it's funny. 
Sorry, Zelda, you gotta wait for a little bit longer. Um, let's drop this for a moment. 34. No, thank you. This is 36 and swings faster. I don't recognize. Nope. Uh, you can leave me a message and I will get back. Okay. Let's get out of here. So we got that one. Um, yeah. So I guess we have this one here, which is supposedly like the quote unquote final shrine. Um, and then this one, which is the blood moon shrine, which we need to just wait for a blood moon to happen. Um, hence the title of this uh, stream. <laughs> Okay. Very cool. Uh, this and this. And it's very snowy here, so we will switch to these. Uh, but it is also right over here, so let's get Majesty. Flint. Hi, Beetle. You should get dressed better. Yeah. We meet again. We don't really dress for the weather here, but the world needs Beetle's goods. Uh, what have you got? Uh, arrows, always. Yay! Yay! I'll take them all. Ooh, I have almost enough rupees for one of the quests. Okay, we're good. Goodbye. Uh, lots of bundles of wood over here. I have so many bundles of wood. Yeah, 77. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have a decent amount. Yeah. Uh, I would like to take Majesty. Oh? Yes. Muffin's great. Majesty's just faster. <laughs> oh. Thank you for Hi. choosing us for all of your horsey needs. I don't even know if that's what they said. I just kind of blinked out, to be completely honest. Did I maybe spend more time getting the horse out than actually using the horse? Perhaps. But that's just how it goes sometimes. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna glide over here. The actual shrine is somewhere that way. But the entrance is over here. I think it's a big, um... Whatchamacallit? Uh, a big labyrinth. Like a final labyrinth.
Okay. Forgotten Temple. There's like a little town symbol here. Oh, jeez. Ah! No, 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 no. There was like just six guardians on me. Um. Hmm. Let's head over here. Ah, uh, but that's a lot of rupees. You know what? No, it's fine. I will use just my singular uh, piece of guardian protection. And, uh, pray. <laughs> ah, that was too early, but I got the deflect in. Nope. Please. Nope. Game! It's a game! Ah. Okay, it deflected back. That's not what I wanted to have happen, but it's certainly what did happen. Please. Please see me. Oh. Okay. Okay. You got at least one reflect off. We'll 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 take it for now. Uh All these parts? No. Do I want all these parts? Definitely yes. They are worth good money. Uh, and I can also get cool armor from them. Uh, let's see. There was one here. I think it was just four that I went against. Yeah, there's one more over there. Where? You up there. Okay. Um, I think I want to get up high for that one. Yeah, so let's get up over here. I can see the shrine. Because of... Yeah. I need to delay. <laughs> um... Okay, we'll have this. Um... 
sure? This is only two minutes, so we'll go with this one. Being able to lock on is really important. Well, I got that parry off. So I'll take it. Um, let's take this wind up. Hello. I'm right here. Please focus on me. Nope. There we go. Being able to lock on target is really important, in my opinion, for the parry. Kind of rough without. Did I see any chests? I might have seen a chest. I'm not certain on that. Yes, I did. Right here. Chest. Feathered spear. No, thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. is this area gonna be? At least one. Okay. Too early, but it's also further away. One more hit here. Wait. God. Shit. Okay. Um. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna do it. Come at me. There we go. It is my pleasure. It is my pleasure. Not too early, fuck. until you lose track of me. I want to sit next to it. I can time it pretty well when I'm right next to it. Adjusting for like the delay of it being a projectile instead of like a hit scan. Oh, I I'm not good enough for that.
There we go. And then you. I'm gonna go over here. Okay. Please. Okay, you. Somehow, dodge that. <sighs> How? There we go. Ugh. I'm almost out of fairies. I deflected it, but then the shield burned? How much damage it would do if one guardian hit another with the laser beam? True. It, it would probably work pretty well. It's just like trying to line up that shot. <laughs> Yeah, that, that would work pretty well because the deflection is, like, doing the deflects is basically the same as one guardian hitting the other, right? Um, there is a dragon overhead right now. Do I care? Eh, not particularly. I think there's one more guardian part up here that I left. But also rain apple. Hello. That's a nice name. I like it. Okay. Who's ready for seven guardians through this archway here? Could aim a shield parry if you aim it correctly? True. But then at the same time, like a deflect is a lot easier to aim just from being able to like lock on to that particular guardian okay we're good hello rona kacha shrine have to be pretty precise yeah, yeah, yeah. um before we go in here Hello, Guardian. Uh, not Guardian. Uh, Goddess Hylia. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. Heart contains. Okay. I will now be at full hearts, which is very nice. Life force has strengthened, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. Thank you. 
Um. Weird. Okay, so the only way to get maximum hearts to like have the heart count be the same on the first row and the second row is to have the four temporary hearts. But no, wait. No, you can have up to like five temporary hearts. Like where do the last couple hearts come from to make that like an even bar? Right? That's weird. Okay. In we go. Battle tip. I'm gonna need to get more shields. <laughs> Fighting Guardians, ah, oh, it's just a blessing. I mean, I did have to fight a bunch of Guardians. Ronakacha's blessing. Please be a shield. It's a flame blade. Okay. And bloop. The challenge was fighting through all the guardians, I think. May the goddess smile upon you. I kind of wish there was, like, some unique messages, you know? Um, because it, it's just like, oh, from Prophecy of Ruin, a hero rises, or some such stuff, you know? So it's not that special feeling. Um Yeah, uh let's go to here just real quick in case it's going to be a blood moon. Uh I'll look up at the night sky and check. But if it's not a blood moon, then um We'll work on some quests while we wait for a blood moon. Okay. It is a blood moon. Blood moon alert. Blood moon alert. <laughs> uh, we are going this way. Um, it is there. <laughs> this works out pretty perfectly. Like, within an hour or so of starting stream, just having all of the shrines done, that's pretty nice. I don't know if I want to fight Ganon today, because Ganon kind of feels like, here's the final thing you do in all of Zelda, and it's like, do we want to do more questing while, like, I might do more questing by myself, but, like, do we do more questing, um, live on stream sort of stuff? Gotta stand here. And gotta remove the clothes. And I'm not doing that just because of Link, you know? I, I'm doing it because this quest here says, um, with nothing between you and the night air. <laughs> there we go. All the shrines unlocked. Kinda hope there's a quest here. Uh, like uh, an actual puzzle thing, but this is all the shrines unlocked. Ugh. Very happy, very excited for that.
I cast. Ah, so nothing between you and the night air meant naked. Yes. <laughs> oh. Boldly standing naked on the pedestal, that's definitely reminiscent of the Hero of Legend. Take care and may the light illuminate your path. You, you don't want to acknowledge the uh, blood moon up there, Cass? <laughs> yeah, it's so bright. The blood moon rises once again. Please be careful, Link. Yes. We'll be careful. <laughs> the, the, like, a terribly... <laughs> uh, Misha Roque Shrine. Just, like, ooh, here's the, like, scary music of the <laughs> Blood Moon, and then Cass's theme. Ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> It just the juxtaposition of those two. Bum, 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 bum. Yes, this looks like an actual shrine. Modest test of strength. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's go in with this. Uh. Let's go in with this, actually. We have some pillars. Okay. Shield and sword. Much too early. Well. Flurry <laughs> Rush is really nice, honestly. Like, it, it's, it's a pretty fun mechanic. I wish it responded a little bit faster. That's like my only complaint with it. Guardian shield, hell yeah. Okay. This is the final shrine. Yeah, there, there's like a weird pause there. Like, I wish it, it's like, okay, here's the, the moment that you can press the button. I wish it immediately started acting upon pressing the button instead of having like a weird 30 second pause. I also didn't pay attention to how much damage this was. 20. Probably not. Probably not. Definitely not. Final shrine. This is the final shrine. All 120 shrines. It was quite the ride. <laughs> One last boop. That's the last boop. No more boops. From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. I should have let the spirit orb play out. Ah, oh, well. You have at last conquered all of our trials. Having fulfilled our promise, we monks bestow upon you this, the warrant of a true hero. You must now depart for the Forgotten Temple. A gift from the monks. May the goddess smile upon you. In a way, he fades. 
a warrant. Interesting. I guess we'll go out there and see what's to be seen. I gotta read what the warrant says, though. Like, I don't want to just hop out there and not know what's going on, you know? Um, adventure log. You've conquered all of the shrine trials. The monks have prepared a gift for just such an occasion. Head to the Forgotten Temple where the oldest statue of the goddess stands to see what they have left for you there. Ooh, some chests. Cap of the Wild. This cap was crafted for a hero who traveled the wild lands. Wearing it just feels so right. Ah, oh, this is cool. Tunic of the Wild. This armor was apparently crafted for a hero who travels the wild. Strangely enough, it's just your size. Trousers of the Wild. Legend says these pants were tailored for a hero who travels the wilderness. Strangely enough, they're the most comfortable pair of pants you've ever worn. Th this, this is really cool. Like, I, I had no idea that this was... Like, I knew this outfit existed, but I had no idea how you got this, you know? The pants look a little bit weird. But other than that, like... This is the Link outfit. <laughs> You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. We will grab a heart container. This is the final heart container. So we have max hearts. We have max stamina. We're in a really good place here. Yeah. Gosh, what do I do now? I could get a home. I could pull the um, sword. I should probably pull the sword. Why they don't let you get two full rows of hearts and full stamina? Yeah. It's a little bit weird. But full stamina is definitely more important to me than uh, full heart. I just need to prepare a bunch of food before we fight Ganon. Or before we even enter Hyrule Castle. Um, About how long does it take to go through all of Hyrule Castle? Because we're an hour and 15 minutes in. So basically it's like... 2 hours 45 minutes-ish of stream time that would be left. So if that's the right amount of time to pull the sword and get through Hyrule Castle, like try and explore as much of Hyrule Castle as possible, I think that's what we'll go do. Um, if there's some time left, I could do some other stuff first. Haven't really gotten to the end of Breath of the Wild, but you would estimate no longer than an hour in the castle. Gotcha. So with that in mind, I think we're going to do a little bit of other stuff. And I think we are going to wrap up Breath of the Wild today. I wasn't sure about it. But I don't know. It, it just feels right. Um, I, I know there's the Dark Link set from getting a bunch of monster tokens. I could maybe sell all of my monster parts and get the Dark Link set. 
I don't know if that's necessarily what I want to do, though. Um... Here, we could just go here and see if that's even feasible. Including boss fight? Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Ah, this outfit looks so good. Okay. Let's see if we can get the Dark Link outfit. We have two minutes to get over there. I know the boss fight isn't that bad because I've already done all the divine beats. Uh-oh. Um. Uh, let's just quickly... Let me get over there. Smells like a vocabulary, or maybe. Oh, it's just you. Can I help you with anything? Uh, exchange for Mon. Okay. 60. Uh, I'm pulling up a calculator to see if I have enough. So I have 60 plus... 2... Uh, 53 times 3 plus, oh, I did not mean to do that. Uh, 42 times 5? No. Ah, jeez. I messed this up already. So it was 60 plus 2 plus 53 times 3 plus... 42 times 5 plus 24 times 10. Wow. Um, that looks like it calculated right, but I forgot to put parentheses. 28 times 2. Not that great. 91 times 6. What? No. Fine. One. Plus. Ninety-one. No. Seventeen times. I, I, I think we have enough that we could make it work. Uh, spend some mon. <sighs> yeah, I, I, I think we just sell a bunch of monster parts. Um... I'm not going to use any of these choo-choo parts. All of them. <laughs> Come on. 47 of these. All of them. <laughs> He's so happy about this. <laughs> uh, this will be 220... <laughs> Three hundred eighty bond. Mm. 
Can you tell that I don't do a ton with uh, the monster parts and the potions? 100. That's almost tempting. <laughs> My only worry with selling these parts is, like, for upgrading equipment, you sometimes need these monster parts. Um. Let's do, like, 35. I don't know. I'm wanting to get, like, most of the, uh, Dark Link equipment. <laughs> it is so slow to navigate the shops. Um. I wish there was an all and half button. Like, one half at a time seems pretty reasonable. Uh, this I'll do, like, 80, though. Maybe 64. <laughs> oh. Choo-choo jelly? Yeah, just give all of it. I'm, I'm not gonna have enough for all the Dark Link gear. Unless I sell, like, absolutely everything. Let's spend some Mon, see where we're at. Uh, I want the Dark Hood. <sighs> and then it's 999 for the other two. Gosh. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use the Dinral scale. We'll just sell that. Twenty a piece. I don't think we have enough. Um, let's see with the Hinox toenail. Uh, all of them. Okay, we have enough. Almost. Um. Maybe somebody willing to trade for it. Well, that sounds like it's a trade thing. Other uses as well, like sale. <laughs> um, hard to come by, all of them. <laughs> okay, Hinox tooth. Let's see. So, nine nine nine. Nope. Eh. Nine 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 times two. Okay. We're not there yet. Let's just sell the parts, and then, like, if I need the stuff for upgrades, I'll I'll go out and farm it. <laughs> It's 1998 is what we need in order to all of them. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's actually just do the Moblin, the Bokoblin Guts. 
Um, this is enough. There we go. Spend some mon. I would like the Dark Link trousers. And the Dark Link tunic. Okay. Uh, I think we'll say goodbye. On another monstrous night. Okay. Um. Equip. Uh, sort by this. Night speed up. They were created based on the image of Monster Born of Darkness. Whenever you buy something from Kilton, he says thank you so much. Yeah, he does. This is a good look. <laughs> what what else do you sell? May we meet again on another monstrous night. Well, goodbye. Poof. <laughs> well, I was too late. Um, yeah. Uh, but a nice speed bonus at nighttime. That's pretty cool. Wait, this says three. It says three on the text, but then it says nine when I'm hovering over it. Hey, okay, that, that's my total armor value. Okay. Um, let's go say hello to Impa, maybe? Maybe, perhaps, maybe? Is there anything special you have to say, Impa? I'm dripping wet. So Ganon's power is weak. I do not know how much longer the princess will be able to hold out. The princess, our Zelda, I leave her life in your hands. Uh, I won't fail. Even with the blessings of the divine beasts on your side, you must be careful. Clemente Ganon will be well protected. Be prepared for anything. We'll do. Hi, Paya. Oh, Master Link. Because I wasn't there, the heirloom, our precious Sheikah heirloom. Actually... What? Oh, so that means the heirloom has finally fulfilled its purpose? Yep. Thank goodness. Doesn't matter how it happens, so long as the object we have guarded uh, preciously for generations, so long as it was able to help you out in some way, I couldn't be happier. I pray that the protection of the gods of old uh, follows you wherever you go. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Happy. She's happy, though. I could have sworn I heard like a Korok um, pinwheel, but then I didn't hear it anymore, so I'm assuming that I'm just hearing things. <laughs> Daruk's protection is now ready to roll. Daruk's protection. Any bloopies? No bloopies immediately. Greatly enhance your clothing. Whoop. Okay. So. These need the dragon scales. <laughs> Ferocious. 
Nadra and Drenal scale. Crap. <laughs> well, I'm not upgrading those. <laughs> uh, and I just sold one of the scales. <laughs> uh. This needs Moldoga Finn. Oh well. I'm still like I wanted to get this set. But I won't be wearing this to the Ganon fight. Uh because farming those scales sucks. <laughs> like I'll probably do it off stream, but like as far as on stream entertainment, it's not very fun. It's just like, okay, get here at a specific time and like hope that like the dragon gets there in time and then like make sure to track where the scale falls to. It's not great. <laughs> um Mm, Shard of Ferocious Horn, yeah. Not going to be upgrading that. Uh, cannot enhance, interesting. So this is just supposed to be like a piece of equipment to get you by, it seems like. It's not supposed to be like armor. As you can see with the one. <laughs> uh, Choo Choo Jelly, which I got rid of, uh, foolishly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I could upgrade this. Do I need to? Probably not. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. Let's go get a house. Here in Hateno Village. Let's get a house. Let's get a home. I have 77 bundles of sticks. Uh, they were only asking for, like, 30 or something like that. I don't quite have enough rupees. I need to sell a little bit of something. Um, where is that quest at? Oh, I have so many side quests. Um, th this, this still baffles me. A Xenoblade Chronicles 2 quest in Breath of the Wild. And it showed up at the most r random time. Um, uh, <laughs> the episode that went up yesterday, just like, hey... You died. By the way, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, like, what? Huh? <laughs> I was very confused. Um, I definitely want to find this recipe in Hyrule Castle. Um, Ateno Village. Okay. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Thank you, Rivali. Yeah. <laughs> Playing Breath of the Wild the other day, the Xenoblade quest came out of nowhere. It was so confusing. Yeah, exactly. Like, I... Like, I, I fought some Bokoblins, right? And then... I died. And then upon respawning, that's when it showed up. And it's like... It, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Hi. Morning. Ready to deliver 30 wood bundles? I'll pay your price. Okie do. I'll grab them from you. <laughs> All I needed to see. Good faith wood. You're obviously serious about this, and now I know it. So as promised, I'll sell you this old house for the low price of 3,000 rupees. Once you've got the money together, come grab me. Okay. Thought your game had glitched. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just like the strangest cross promotion. Like, sure, cross promotion is a thing, but like, I I'm almost curious to just like look up. Like, let let's look at that quest, right? So, um, 
southeast sky from the middle of the largest bridge, eastern sky from the skull's left eye, southeastern sky from the peak of the tail. Pierce, uh, pierced snowy mountain. Look to the night sky at these locations. Find the red shooting stars. So it has to be nighttime. You have to go to these specific locations. So southern sky, largest bridge, right? And largest. Okay, so that's the Florian Bridge here, right? So that's one. Uh, although. Nope, it's Bridge of Hylia. It's Bridge of Hylia, definitely. Not, not, um, Florian Bridge. Uh, and then Skull's Left Eye. What is a skull over here? You know what? I think this is a big skull. So it might be here? I'm not positive of that. But that feels right? As like the skull's left eye? And then this final one. Southeastern sky. Peak from the tail. I mean, this looks kind of like a tail. From from the tall, not tail. Sorry, that's my dyslexia. Uh Peak of the tall, pierced, snowy mountain. Um. So, probably here. But that's just my guess. Hello, you. You're an interesting fellow. Sage. Uh, welcome. If you were looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. Hugh do you do? Kochi Dye Shop, where we live to die. Uh, uh, let's do it. I'll just be a minute. Choose a color. Um. You know? I'm good. <laughs> Every day is a good day to die. Um. Okay, Sage. Yeah, excuse me. You're gonna drop me in a vat! <laughs> I see what's happening here. Mm, where's the shop? I see a clothing shop over here. Let's go this way. look of that oh this armor looks cool oh a warm duble helium tunic helium trousers and I think I have the helium trousers right yeah uh hey there you Welcome, welcome. 
Everyday clothes, armor for soldiers, we have it all at Ventest Clothing. Um, I'm here to sell. Uh, sell whatever you desire. <laughs> uh, nine rupees for each of these. <laughs> you, you gather thousands of mun, and then, okay, you get nine rupees for that. Thanks. <laughs> Great. Um... Let's just sell... What? What do we sell? Maybe some of this. Let's sell, like... I don't know, 15 of this? Um... Maybe another six. There we go. Let's get a house. It is house time. Oh. House. House, 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 house. Obviously not the first quest, but this was a very early quest. So it, it feels good to be wrapping this up finally at the end of the game. Not a Korok. Hello, you. Hi. Morning. Yes, I'm ready. You're really gonna give me 3,000 rupees? Like, with three zeros? You aren't just posturing? I'll shell out. No way! Talk about studly. I'll just take that off your hands. Thanks for the sweet investment. Spending so much money on anything at your age. Just so studly. There's a weapon mount in there that never sold. Uh, consider it a housewarming gift. Uh, hope you get some use out of it. Ooh. So next job time, baby. What did I have lined up again? Oh yeah, that's what's next. I was going to send Hudson up a Kala way to clear some land. Up a Kala way. Interesting. Oh! I can display my favorite weapon here. Gosh, as good as it would be in a fight, I want to display this. There we go. Wait, is this... Is this really it? Just... Oh yeah, you can display something here. <laughs> um... Uh... Uh... What, what, what was the name of this quest? Oh, he might be able to help you with that. Okay. Hi. I asked Hudson to clear some land in the Akala region. Clearing land? Yep, business expansion. You know, I'll probably have him head out soon. If you want to say anything to Hudson, better catch him before he leaves. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing? Taking a break. By the way, did you buy that house? Yes. Impressive. You're just a pup. Uh, come again? Don't worry about it. Anyways. What? Looks like I've got to head out and leave this place soon. Why? I've been transferred. Transferred. Might have heard, but Bolson Construction is uh, planning to expand big time. That's great. Yeah, big expansion. Where will you go? Zora's Domain is north of here. We're going north of that, though. An area called the Akala region. That's pretty far. Yeah. Well, good luck. Okay, then. Well, no time like the present, right? I should be getting out of my way. If you'd like, you should come to the Akala region and say hello. Well, take care of yourself. What's what's with this sentimental music? <laughs> but but bye, Hudson. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
uh, <laughs> I don't know, there was just something so surreal about that, just like, this, this character that I've hardly talked with, and then like, a, a specific musical riff for this character. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's amazing. Okay. Um. Uh, stop in and pay Hudson a visit. Okay. Hey, Olsen. Mm. Hi. So the both of us sort of hit a personal milestone, huh? Time to kick back and get leisurely, baby. Though you look a bit judgmental for such a fine moment. You're looking at me like we should both keep working at it. You don't even have to say it. Ooh, what? I just bought a house and it's totally empty and depressing. Mm -hmm. Oh sure, that's you to a T. I see it in your eyes. Yep, I was just like you about a lifetime ago. So tell you what, let me help you taking uh, five thousand rupees, <laughs> taking care of the furniture or the exterior or anything for five thousand rupees. Actually, no, scratch that. For you, let's start at a hun okay, hun hundred, hundred rupees. That's reasonable. Five five thousand. I was about to lose it. <laughs> Just cruise on by whenever you have the spending cash, and we'll talk. Okay. Um, we can do that. Um, how many bundles of wood do I have? 47. I can sell, like, 27 of that and be perfectly fine. Uh, but we should go see Hudson. Wherever he's at. Hey. Uh, sell. Um, we want to sell... Bundles of wood. It's not worth a lot of money, but it's something. Yeah. Mm. Diamond? Uh, let's go with the sapphire? Yeah, we can sell, like, two sapphires. Uh, let's ask about this corner. Oh! Am I nestled too far in that corner? Is it hard to see me? You know, it's a little weird, but I just feel more confident over here. That's fine! Perfectly fine to be over there. Um. Yeah. I want to go over purchase some stuff for the house. I do like the look of this house. Like it doesn't look very stable, but I like the look of it. <laughs> it's like the perfect video game house. <laughs> Build me something. Um. Gear displays. Oh. Uh, we got a weapon mount. Let's do a bow mount. Do up front. Oh. Uh, Gotta get my mind right. Carson, we are on. Oh. Ben waiting. <laughs> uh, excellent. Pretty flawless, if I do say so myself. You should take a look. I will. Right there, okay. Um, let's equip the Great Eagle Bow. There we go.
And then... I think I want to do the Savage Lionel shield. Uh, build me something. Gear display. Shield mount. I don't like those sounds, Bolson. Could you not? Carson, are we studs? <laughs> are we studs of stud work? You're darn tootin' we are. <laughs> Been waiting. <laughs> ah, looks like fun. Also, Chromebook OS. <laughs> Lovely name, but yes, we're having fun here. <laughs> Perfectly installed. Give it a look. A uh, shield right there. Does that? Also, they just pop in later. Uh, let's build something. Uh, installations. Bed, lighting. You know what? I th I think we need a door. A door sounds right. A door sounds appropriate. Construction, instruction. Awaken your inner animal. We are beasts of construction. <laughs> Been waiting. <laughs> Bolson's phrases are just kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Perfectly installed. Wow, a door. Um, build me something. You know you have to change your channel name? I mean, it seems pretty great to me. I, I, like, if you're trying to do branding for, like, being a YouTuber or streamer, then yeah, you might want to change your channel name. But it's pretty funny <laughs> if, if you're just, like, commenting in streams or replying to videos or stuff. I don't know. I, I think it's a funny joke. Um, sign with my name, plant some flowers, plant trees. Um, let's do installations and lighting. Mm. What is he saying this time? Mm -hmm. House, I'm coming for you. Oh. Recall that time you dazzled me? Well, it's dazzling time again, baby. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it just seems weird when someone says that on stream. <laughs> Valid. Just, hey Chromebook OS, how you doing today? <laughs> Like, yeah, I can, I can see how that would feel a bit weird to be addressed as that. <laughs> um, let's take a look at this lighting. Nice, nice. Not the best lighting, but uh, doesn't make it dark in here anymore. So that, that's an improvement. Uh, build me something. Uh, let's install a bed. Oh. 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 Mm. Bolson Construction, what's our credo? With seven colors of paint, oh. buildings bloom like the spring. I feel like there's supposed to be a rhyme, but it just didn't work out. <laughs> Ah. Practically perfect, if I do say so myself. I'm a little jealous. Ah. The door closed on me. Look at this bed. It's a bit plain. But it certainly works. Only seven colors of paint. Hudson? 
Wonder if everything is okay with him up in the Callaway. Maybe all that cargo was a bit too heavy to travel, even for him. Um, house exterior. Yeah. So one, two, three, three hundred. And then I'm assuming. Here. I'm gonna take a look at something. So. Oh, it closed on me again. So I'm assuming. One, two, more? I think two more shields for sure. Two or three weapons, like melee weapons, and then two or three bows. Yeah. Recommend gear stands? Yeah. I'm out of rupees for now. I can sell some stuff. Uh, I think I should go see Hudson for a little bit, though. Oh, there! Okay. I've been there before. Gear stands are very cool. I like the gear stands. Bum, bum, bum. <sighs> yeah. Later tonight, definitely going for Ganon. I I'm looking forward to the Ganon fight. Uh, hey there. I'm just gonna grab that apple. Thank you very much. Um, and then we're going this way. I think we'll put on our best armor and cook up some good food uh, before we go and do that Ganon fight. Terry Town. There's a town now. That's a nice little house there. Yo! Having all four divine beasts makes it much easier? Definitely. Uh, no. I, I want to talk with Hudson. Ooh. Hey! We meet again. That's rude. We just talked. I'm one of the Bolson construction contractors. The name's Hudson. I remember. <laughs> Me too. What are you doing? Since I've been transferred here, I've decided to build a village from scratch. Every village needs a name, though. I think I'll call it Terrytown. Good idea. However, what's wrong? I built a house to store the village supplies in, but there just isn't enough. Enough what? Enough anything. People, money, stuff. I'll help out. But why? There's nothing in it for you. Outline? You're a lifesaver. Well, I suppose to get started, we'll need houses for people to live in. We can't invite them until we have homes. Do you think you could bring me ten bundles of wood? If you bring me that, I can combine it with what I've already got and get started on new houses. Cool. Uh, I brought them. Sure. Mm. Next is... These boulders are driving me nuts. I want to move them out of the way so we can develop the land underneath. It'd really help me out if you could find someone with enough brute physical strength to bust them apart. Physical strength? Yeah, if we're talking about brute physical strength, and we are, a Goron would be my first choice. Good luck. You'll need it. Uh, this seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. Yeah, in accordance with the official Bolson construction policy, that someone, uh, that someone must end in sun. If you run into anyone that fits with that, I, uh, with what I've said, send them here to Terrytown for me. Yes. I was imagining as much. Um, which means... So I'm, like, this is my first playthrough, so I'm, I'm mostly spoiler three. Wow, not spoiler three, spoiler free. <laughs> I'm good with words. Hmm. 
The music here bops. Music? Here we go. Margo. This is the house of the distinguished Goron artisan, Master Rohan. You need something? Who's Rohan? Uh. He's a godly blacksmith. Uh, he's responsible for keeping the ancient arts alive. Mm. He's really strict with everyone, me included. Uh, in my case, he told me to be every igneo talus around Goron City as part of my training. <sighs> but I can't get to the igneo talus at uh, Darunia Lake. Hmm. If only someone would go in my place. Okay. Well, that's a thing that could be done. Protein place. The one you'll need to find is not in Goron City. Interesting. Um, see ya. That, that hint just clicked for me. So there's the mining camp down here. <laughs> if I could just have the Goron City music playing at all times, I'd be perfectly happy. <laughs> like, it, it, it's... I don't know. It, it makes the happy chemicals go off in my brain. It like I don't know. <laughs> There's just something about it. Scared me. Uh, goodbye. Oh. Grayson. What's your name? Mm -hmm. the name's Grayson. What's it to you? Name ends in sun. What about it? It's time to work now. If we want to talk, come back at night when I'm relaxed. Mitha's grace is ready. Mm -hmm. Uh, night. It is time for night. <laughs> uh, you are Grayson. Oh. Come on, I'm on break. What is it? And you are? Grayson. I don't like repeating myself, though, so just remember that, okay? I'm a digger here, as you can see. I dig, and I dig, day in and day out. To be honest, I'm sick of it. I feel like maybe I'm not meant to toil away in obscurity like this. Uh, is there a job out there for me that let me use my strength to make a difference? There is. Huh? There is? Where? Please tell me more. Terrytown. Terrytown. Never heard of it. What's the deal with that place? Hmm. Hmm. Akala. Terrytown. So there is somewhere out there that needs me. Hmm. Akala isn't too far from here. All right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to strike where the... Iron, while the iron is hot, I can read so well. <laughs> You're so happy! Uh, I'm so happy for him. 
<laughs> Aw, yeah. Just wanting to, like, make a difference in the world, you know? Like, each person wanting to make their own, like, little impact on the world. Thanks for letting me know, brother. Uh, Pellison and I are gonna head there right away. Pellison, hey, another one. While I'm at it, oh, Pellison, we're gonna leave. <gasps> a little Goron! Aww. Hmm? There's a nice, lovely little jingle for, like, people leaving to go to Terrytown. That's what the jingle is? Oh, it's so cool. It's so good. I like this quest a lot. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. That's so good. I like it. I love it. Never thought of it like that. Valid. Like... I, I think most people, like, most people want to, like, be a part of the world. Like, make make a, a difference in the world. Like, whether, like, they might not feel like they have, um, like, they want to make big differences in the world. But, like, the world could just be, like, their local community or their friend group, you know? Like, try and make things better for their um, their world that they immediately interact with. And, uh, I, I think most people strive for that. And, and yeah. Hey, look, another house. Ooh. Hey there. Um, I'm actually gonna land. To mark that down. Okay. The Terrytown music's great. It has a little bit of the Goron vibe now. Ooh. Hey! He sent some Gorons back here. That's perfect. The brute strength of a Goron is undeniable. Those boulders don't stand a chance against them. And with the names like Grayson and Pelson, they fit right in. Also, Pelson started selling the ore found within the boulders. You should go say hello again. Well, next is... So before more people can move here, we need homes for them to live in. Can you bring me 20 bundles of wood? Uh... Okay. Um... Time to cut down the forest. The music there is so good. Look at Dark Link being so speedy quick. No. <laughs> Speed. <laughs> oh, all uh, right. I need to. <coughs> uh, excuse me. I need to equip a weapon. Um, yeah. Yeah, excuse me. Ah, that's one bundle of wood. You know what? Um, this isn't even the best place to do this at. I should go to this horse stable over here. Nope. Because there are a bunch of trees already felled over there. Um, so it's just hitting them down and you get a bunch of bundles of wood all at once. 
I don't know how often it respawns, but there's a lot of wood there. A lot of wood. So right behind this horse stable. I think it's this horse stable. Yes, there it is. Let's pop it into view. Also, if I find a woodcutter's axe, that would be really good. There it is. Woodcutter's axe. Got a frog in there somehow. <laughs> Am I stealing from them? Maybe. But it's also just a really good opportunity to uh, clear out their stuff. Very close to my home village. Mm. Promise? Oh. Now is not the time. Oh. I kind of want to finish Cass's story. But that might have to be something off stream. Don't think they care? Yeah, probably right. bubbles of wood. I am good to head back. You can also use bombs. True. True, true, true. I don't think about that that often. <laughs> Because, like, in other Zelda games, bombs are, like, a limited resource. So, I, like, bombs aren't, like, the first thing that I think of. I think we're going to bring people in from, like, all across the land. on my clothes get for tailoring for me mm. among the Gerudo who's good at that Bolson construction policy someone's name must end in sun are you scared by my outfit scared by my outfit it seems
Hudson's the only one ask, acting like that. You get Zora, Gerudo, and Rito. Yeah, assumed as much. Across the land we go. <laughs> um, taking a look at something here. Whoa. That's cool. Okay. Um, clothes. Uh, we want to wear the sand and this and this. Uh, I'm assuming they won't be shopkeeps. It'll be other people. Tisha, Kara. Somebody good with clothes. So I assume I go over to the clothes shop. Also, this town here. Um, my gut feeling is that it's going to be that over there. Um, let's just purchase. <laughs> Just to purchase one of these. Twenty rupees. Um, let's seal the deal. <laughs> seal you another time. Kara Kara Bazaar. Bizarre. Yeah, just right here. Oh, because of the coldness. Probably in here. Gained weight, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to bother you. You maybe? Rip. Look good on you. Putting on a nice outfit and going out. Good for you. Guy. Beetle! Hey there! Yeah! We meet again. Uh, what have you got? Uh, arrows. Always. Um, I need to sell some stuff. Because I want all of your arrows. Always. Give me your arrows. I need your arrows. Um, sapphire. We'll sell one. Ow. 
I, I can't believe that when I was first playing this game, I didn't get the authentic Beatles sounds because of a, an audio glitch with my streaming setup. <laughs> like, I couldn't hear it. Stream couldn't hear it. Just... What a shame, you know? Bye-bye. Oh, you? Ronson. Sovato. What a cute vibe. Are you out seeking the love of your life as well? Yes. Well, good luck to both of us. I wonder if there really is someone out there for me. Uh, let me just change over here real quick. Hello, it is me. Hmm. Ugh. Still considering how to continue my search. I've mastered tailoring. I have dozens of other skills. Sasa Beetle 2023. So true. I just don't know what Vo are looking for. I wonder if there really is someone out there for me. Go to Terrytown. Eh? What is it? So abrupt, too. Let me hear the details. Hudson? In Terrytown needs a tailor? It's something, I suppose. The Akala region is kind of far away, but maybe I need to travel. Getting far away from a village full of vibe. <sighs> but it's not like I'm accomplishing anything by staying here. I can continue my search in Terrytown. Thank you for all the information. I'm going to go home and pack a huge bag. Uh, it'll be a long journey all the way there. I'll no doubt see you again in Terrytown. So, it was a little bit weird when it was just Hudson, but, like, I don't know, that like, that, that riff, I don't know if riff is even the right term, but that riff is so good for, like, uh, just, here's a nice little theme for Terrytown, and then, like, here's, here's the little theme riff that plays when people are leaving to go off to Terrytown and like somehow feels like a little bit nostalgic even though it's like the first time like it, I've only heard it three times excuse me only heard it three times and it's like so good so good That didn't work as expected, or as planned. How unfortunate. Okay, we got home number three here. Um, so there's gonna be two more homes that need to be built. Hey, there's a dog here. Cool. Hey! You found someone from the Gerudo. Thank you. She was able to patch every last hole in my work clothes before I could blink. She's pretty... Er, amazing. And since her name is Ronson, I have no objections. I hear she's deciding to continue putting her skills to use by opening a clothing shop. You should stop by and say hello. Well, next is... Need homes for them to live in. 30 bundles of wood. Um, I'll see if I can do that. Oh! Ah. What's the matter? Moving here could help, so he bought a house. <laughs> the air is clean, there aren't too many people. Despite my husband's determination, I wasn't sure if a move was a good idea, but our daughter... Wow, our... Our... Daughter is slowly improving. Uh, uh, it's her appetite to return. I'm sure she'll get well faster if she ate more. <sighs> At night, I've got to ask Papa for advice again. At night. Okay. Nighttime.
Okay. I'm really enjoying this quest. I said I was gonna go fight Ganon today. But what if we fought Ganon this weekend on Saturday? And instead I just continued working on quests here and then maybe worked on quests uh, at the start of the next stream as well. Like, I I'm just enjoying quests. Did I tell you? I'm sorry, this is a very personal matter. Could you leave, please? Okay with questing? Oh, they're by the window. Our daughter, the only thing she'll eat is cake. Can't anything be done? We've scoured the world, nothing for a cake that would please her. Searching for a cake that would please her. None have. Imagine how much money we've spent. Papa, excuse me. What's more important to you, money or our daughter? I see. If that's the case, even if I have to sell my soul to a monster, I'll get my hands on a cake that can cure our daughter. Ugh. Talking about monsters now. This is absolutely insane, Mama. Okay. So. I need to make a cake with that uh, special monster spice. Which I don't know the recipe for a cake. Uh, cabantha wheat, goat butter, cane sugar, and acorn. All you have to do is substitute acorn with monster extract, which I think I have that. Nope. Okay, so. Cabantha wheat, uh, which is this here. Hold. Uh, goat butter, cane sugar, and acorn, but we can replace it with monster extract. Monster cake. Uh, it's said that once you have a taste of this cake, you'll never forget its sweetness. cake? I should give this to my daughter? Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. It's certainly quite pungent. Whew. Suppose I can't complain about things like that. If our daughter can get better thanks to this cake, uh, I'll wake her up right away and try to get her to eat it. Never forget the sweetness. Never, ever, 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 ever forget the sweetness. Uh, just made it daytime? Hi. Hi! Are you a traveler? You are looking the wrong way, but I also can't look at you, so that's fine. Aww. Have you heard of a monster cake? Absolutely. <laughs> Isn't it so gross? Ick. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because I ate the monster cake, but I have so much energy now. If you run out of energy, you should eat some too. Okay. Ah. Thank you so much. That monster cake. Our daughter wolfed it down with unbelievable gusto. Uh, it seems her health has returned to her. Oh. I don't even know what to say. I'm just so thankful. Oh, I know. This isn't much, but please take it. A gold rupee? That's so good. Thank you. Could you maybe try talking to her sometime as well? 
Yeah. Here, let's talk once more. Tell me a story. Uh, here's the calamity. What's that? I don't care. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm fine. What you like eating? I hate everything. But I'll eat some cake if you have some. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> I don't want you to come here anyway. Okay. Um, how many things of wood do I have? I have 21. So we will, once again, fly over here. Get a bunch of things of wood and fly back. Back and forth. All the way across the land. Oh, gotta get down. Get below the temperature line. It's like both the higher you go and also particular regions that gets colder. This would be a good place to gather a bunch of wood. Ow. That's my own fault. <laughs> grab the spicy peppers. Thank you very much. Oof. Oh, it's stream delay. Me getting hit, yes. <laughs> Forty-two. That is enough. Um, I grabbed all the wood that was there. Uh, just gonna check for any loose wood bundles. Nope. Okay. Uh, so back over here. Travel. Mm. Uh, big stretch. 117 Koroks. I think that's a pretty respectable amount for just casually playing. Like, it's definitely not the, um... It's nowhere near completion, because it's 999 for completion. But, I think it's a pretty respectable amount. What a great option. Mm. Starting to look like a town around here, which is exactly why we need to set up some distribution. Need more subscribers, not in a bad way? 
hey, I appreciate that. I, um, I, I love streaming. I, I love streaming. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I like video production and I'm getting a lot more into doing, um, video editing. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just have a really good time with this and yeah. Um, just doing some highlights of, of streams and stuff right now. But yeah, I, I appreciate that a lot. That that's, that's very kind of you. Um, I've, I've been streaming for gosh. Uh, I started streaming freshman year of college. So four years of college. Have to go to bed now? Okay, take care. Uh, I hope you have a nice evening. And, uh, yeah. It, uh, thank you for chatting. It was a great time. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna finish this thought of, uh, how long I've been streaming. Uh, now you can get a schedule. Um, I don't think I have any commands typed out, but, uh, it's currently at snreloaded.stream slash schedule. Um, here. Let, let me make that a clickable link. snreloaded.stream slash schedule. There we go. Clickable link. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I keep that Google Calendar pretty up to date uh, with what the intended stream schedule is. So yeah, uh, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it a lot. Um, so where was I? Uh, I started streaming about seven years ago. Gosh, it's almost a decade. Uh, it was four years of college, so freshman year of college, and then I was there for four years. Um, and then now it's been almost three years since I graduated from college. So yeah, seven years. That's a long time. <laughs> uh, um, but for YouTube, I was doing that um, on, on like an older different channel. But I started that like three years before that. So like I've been doing content creation for about 10 years. Um, it's been a long road, but, like, I, I just really enjoy it. I, I have a great time with it. Um, anyways, back to the game. Hudson. Uh, it's finally starting to look like a town around here, which is exactly why we need to set up some distribution. Uh, I'd like to get a general store up and running, uh, but there's no one with the connections and qualifications to run it. Do you think you could keep out, uh keep an eye out for someone who knows about distribution and can run a general store. Ooh, I, I actually know this one. I know this one in Rito Village. So a traveling trader. Good thought. Rito can fly around so they should be able to retrieve and deliver supplies. Good luck. You'll need it. Uh, this seems like a real excuse me, long shot. Uh, oh, and one last wrinkle. Uh, yep, must end with sun. I know exactly who this is because I've talked with him multiple times and he's been like oh, I, I I want to have my own general store I know this Rito I know this Rito in specific yeah <laughs> the Terrytown music is so good so 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 good Okay. Where are you at? Huh? You there. Oh. Fison. Hey, what's up? My mom is getting on my last nerve. I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Mm. But I don't want to compete with Mom. I wish there was a place I could set up my own shop. Heard of Terrytown? Terrytown? Tell me more. Oh. So they're in need of a general store. That's perfect. But the Akala region? That's pretty far out there. But I guess I've got to leave the nest someday. And, I ha and to have my own store. Okay. I've made up my mind. I'm going. 
I know. I'll gather some items on my way to Terrytown and then sell them at my new shop. Uh, Thanks for the tip. And hey, don't be a stranger. Come visit me at my new home sometime. Bye. Ba, 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 ba. Well, thanks. Good night. Yeah, good night. Take care. It was a good time. And I hope you had a good time. Bum, bum, bum. Ba, ba, bum, bum, bum. Okay. It's a little bit annoying that I have to fly down each time, but it's not like the biggest deal, you know? That's the new general store there. Nope, the general store is there. Interesting. <gasps> spin! The doggo go spin. Hi. Oh, hello. Oh. Who might you be? Just a traveler. Oh, is that so? By the way, I don't suppose you came to Terrytown to purchase a holiday home, did you? Uh, that's right. Is that so? Anyways, please be careful. My husband is taking great care of this area. Uh, but there seems to be a lot of strange folk just outside of town. Hmm. Interesting. Hey there. Oi! Oh, hey. What can I get you? Hey. Hey. It's been a while. <laughs> Remember me? Fison, of course. After I left Rito Village, some bandits tried to mug me. Lucky for me, they didn't have wings. <laughs> Terrytown is real, really great. Nice weather, no moms to annoy me. <laughs> it's really great being able to run my own shop and sell the things I want to sell. Anyways, I'm open for business, so shop to your heart's content. A bunch of arrows. <gasps> Gear? Ooh. Yeah, I'll purchase it. I'll make sure to stock up then. Take them all. Um, mm, fire arrows and bomb arrows. Those are expensive. Those are also somewhat expensive, but I could probably buy one set. Okay. Hey! You managed to find a Rito and bring him back here. Thank you. He wasted no he wasted no time getting a general store up and running. Apparently his family runs one too. And with a name like Fison, he'll fit right in. He's selling things that he's picked up while flying around. You should really go check out the store. Well next is Need even more homes for them. Can you bring me fifty bundles of wood? Okay. That might be a little bit rough, but I'll see what I can do. Um, nobody downstairs here. Oh. Literally nobody in that house, but I will take that shield. Not the best shield, but it's something. Desert Vos Spalder. Uh, Savak. <laughs> that is correct. Don't you remember me? I'm Ronson. Oh, maybe you already heard, but Hudson and I are engaged. Ah! Congratulations! <laughs> Sark so. Hudson isn't all that great at things uh, besides his chosen profession, but I guess that isn't a huge deal, is it? You should talk to him if you want to know more. 
that's great for them, honestly. Um. Traditional Gerudo clothing. How nostalgic. Please take your time looking. This armor was all homemade, by the way. Okay. I was just curious. Hudson, I want to hear all about it. Ooh. Well. All business, no fun. You did say Hudson, right? I was wondering if you'd like to attend. Of course. Shark so. We're actually actively looking for a priest right now. <gasps> I know where to find someone for that. To where isn't a problem at all, but it's not like we can ask Grayson or Fison to preside for us. I know exactly where this is. It is all coming together. Let me tell you, this Terrytown quest chain is extremely fun. I, like, I'm having a great time, like, seeing all the pieces from all across the land kind of get combined together here. Like, it's it's really good, really fun. I like it. Uh, also, I'm going to just really quick... Go around, pick up a bunch of stuff from around here. Okay. You have a quest? Hi. Oh, hey, mister. I'm a Halion. Hi, Liam? Never met one of those before. There's one right over there. If you're a high Leon. That means you came from really far away, right? You didn't happen to see my mom, May, on the way here, did you? Ever since the water monster went crazy, mom hasn't come home. Ooh. But I mean, I bet she'll come home sooner or later. Hopefully sooner. <laughs> so I'm catching frogs and selling them to earn money for our family, just until mom comes home. Froggy? <sighs> yep. Since mom hasn't come home from fishing yet, I've been catching hot-footed frogs and selling them to earn some money for our family. You were just pitying me, weren't you? You felt sorry for me, didn't you? Well, I don't need your pity. If you want to help, donate some hot-footed frogs. You can find them easily on rainy days. Okay. Really need you to get some for me. Five frogs should be enough, got it? Yeah. Think I have enough? Okay. Have some frogs. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and count them. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> wow. You really brought them. Here, take this as thanks. Amaranth. <laughs> this is called Amaranth. I picked it because it's unusual, but it doesn't really suit me, so it's all yours. <laughs> Bye. I hope your mom come, comes home soon. That's not what I came here for. <laughs> that was quite the shock. Anyways, there's a priest up here. Hello! Hello, hello! Michael House, hello! Capson! Hey, and your last name is Sun! If during your travels you meet any engaged couples, I would like you to introduce them to me. Joining two souls is a true honor, one I shall stake my life on. Just one more wedding, and I shall be fulfilled. Oh, okay. So it's him. I need to... I need to get the wood so that he can move there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I, I get it. I get it. 
Uh, we're gonna go up here and fly over to get some wood. And then we'll be able to build house and bring Azor along. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. I know it's just loading in resources, but it it takes so long to teleport. <laughs> Been watching Breath of the Wild and TOTK videos all day, so Papa Google, the uh, Papa Google, uh, decided to suggest me. Hey, that's cool. Happy days, yeah. Um, I have uh, just today finished all 120 shrines, so I'm I'm just going through a quest chain. I was going to go fight Ganon, but I've I've just been having a good time with the quest chain, having a really good time. Um, and if you're into like. A little bit of a plug here, but if you're interested in seeing from the beginning, I have, uh, I, I'm, wow, let me start that over. <laughs> a little bit of a plug, but, uh, uh I, I'm doing stream highlights, and, uh, I, I, I have the series going, uh, from the beginning of my let's play, just kind of, uh, taking the best moments, uh, trying to get, like, the story and, like, the, the funny moments, it's but happy days, yeah. Thank you for uh, taking a chance and stopping by. The frames are unbelievable here. Let's see. 31 bundles. Gives you something to watch at work tomorrow. Nice. Yeah, I have a, a, a playlist for it. I, I try and keep everything in playlists. So, yeah. Trying to do two of those a week. Yiga clan. Um, let's use sword. Thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. Ah, oh, the frames. Yep. If only the hardware was, like, just a little bit more powerful, you know? Like, it doesn't have to be the most amazing thing, but... It, <laughs> the frames are rough sometimes. most densely forested area is probably the Korok forest but that also seems a bit rough these ruins also might be good but that's like deeply shrouded <laughs> the hardware is helping me see as many frames as possible yes just need to really sit and appreciate each of these glorious frames that are rendered, you know? Uh, it, it, it's imperative that, like, I know exactly how each beautiful friend frame was meant to be rendered. I wonder, do the bigger trees... Do they give more wood? They give two instead of one. I mean, I guess that's something. Um, I'm gonna see if 
teleporting back up here respawns the trees. I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. Ba -bum -bum. Yeah, I've been having a really great time with Breath of the Wild. Like, this is my first playthrough. Basically, no spoilers. Like, I've seen some of the any percent run, which is like, you know, a ton of glitches. Just run directly to Ganon uh, in your skivvies and, and just go for it. <laughs> so, like, I, I don't think that's super representative of Breath of the Wild. And um, I've been I, just having a fantastic time playing through it. For TOTK, the only thing I've seen is, like, some of the kooky contraptions that people have built, you know? I've also seen, like maybe two videos like one it's like oh here's the bulldozer that pushes the the balls into like the weighted pressure plate and another one that's um what is it like here here's a boat that you need to make paddles for or something like that like people making entire mecha suits out of scrap wood yeah exactly <laughs> Or just Korok torture chambers as well, you know, like, hey, let, let's build a, like, five-stage rocket uh, that shoots a Korok into outer space, <laughs> you know? It's, uh, quite the surreal experience. <laughs> uh, 66 pieces of wood. That is good enough. So back over here. Bum, 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 bum. I like that the horse stable theme is themed off of the Epona music. I've said that a couple times before. But it's, it, it's just a nice touch, you know? Um, so the blowing it up, uh, I, I didn't think about that, to be honest. Um, it, somebody who left just before you arrived, uh, Chromebook OS, ironically enough, <laughs> uh, they suggested to blow it up instead. And it's like, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I always forget about the bombs because in other Zelda games, it's a limited resource and you know, need to go and like gather the bombs or purchase the bombs. And so I don't think about using the bombs that often. Hey there. Ooh. Hey, did you bring the 50 bundles of wood? I brought them. Excellent. Can I have them? Bye. Farewell then. <laughs> okay. Just, just as simple as that. Okay. I brought them. Sure. You're a lifesaver. I actually wanted to talk about something a little personal. What's wrong? Oh, not that kind of personal. Actually, I got engaged. Congratulations. Thank you. To who? To Ronson. You're a cute couple. Thank you. Anyways, we wanted to have a little ceremony to celebrate, but we need someone priest-like to officiate. Could you look for someone priest-like for us? Priest-like, huh? Mm. If you're looking for people... Uh, if you're looking for a people devout enough to have a priest-like person, I'd suggest the Zora. Good luck, you'll need it. This seems like a real long shot. Lack of axes is always your problem. Valid, yeah. Uh, there is the woodcutter's axe directly there in Rito Village, but, like, that's not the perfect solution. Oh, that's why my frames have been stuttering for my camera. I have a little cooling system for the phone, and... 
forgot to turn it on before stream. <laughs> so it's just been sitting there uh, heating up. <laughs> Sorry about the, the framey stutters. Uh, normally it's a lot smoother. Uh, playing it on and off since it came out. Uh, and never thought to just bomb the forest. <laughs> yeah, it just, just bomb the forest. It's fine. Just just the mass destruction of the forest. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, and one last wrinkle. Yeah, in accordance with the official Bolson construction policy, that someone's name must end in sun. If you run into anyone that fits uh, with what I've said, send them here to Terrytown for me. Okay. Well, luckily, I know exactly to get for you. Bum, ba, bum, ba, 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 ba. You always circle around and get whatever you can here. Apparently this time just a crap, but we'll take it, you know? You're down here right now, Sidon, but you were up there before. Does he shift from position to position based on time of day? My thoughts are... Probably. Uh, before I talk with him, uh, I'm gonna grab all these snails that are just sitting around the outside edge. Aww. They say Ruta has calmed down, and yet... Ah, it is you, Link. I am sorry. I was talking to myself. What's wrong? Aww. Truth is, my wife May left and hasn't come back yet. After the Divine Beast Varuta started uh, rampaging, she went out to go fishing like everything was normal. And now Ruta has settled down, but she still hasn't returned. Mm. I'm afraid the worst has happened. If only I had stopped her from leaving. Oh, what do I do? I'll find her. <laughs> Link, you saved Zora's domain, and now you're going to help me find my May as well? Uh. You are a true champion. I'm sorry to put this burden on you, but please bring her home. Will do, yeah. Glowing ominously, the sneaky river snail is not so sneaky. So true. <laughs> Just, they glow at night. They're, they're sneaky, but they glow. Ah. <laughs> uh. Torfo. Hmm. Oh. Hillian. To think uh, that you were able to appease Ruta, you, uh, you turned out to be a pretty incredible guy. In fact, I wonder if you can do this too. Exterminate the Hynux. Uh, by Rallis Pond, surely. Okay, in that case, give it a try. For he who saved the domain, this should be a piece of cake. Go on, I'm counting on you. Hi. Get a load of this. I've been waiting to hear those words. Now, please, tell me the specifics. As for the location, hmm... Carry town in Akala. Akala isn't too far from here. It would please me to hurry there right away. By yourself? <laughs> no need to worry about me. I've always had confidence in my fins and feet. Uh, it had been a long while since I have uh, had work. I'm eager to put my skills to good use. You should come as well. I'll start my preparations in Terrytown in the meantime. <laughs> that, that Terrytown jingle is like, even though I experienced it first today, it feels incredibly nostalgic already. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> it just feels, yeah. Um... Oh, wrong button. This button. Let's go here. 
I'm getting distracted, but it's fine. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, hey there. That's actually incredibly convenient. Uh, it is nighttime, so I should switch to the nighttime armor so I run faster. No. Oh, I sprinted too fast, too far. Ooh, I hear the high knocks. Okay. Um Actually, yellow. Let, let let's just go for it. Um Yeah, let's go with this. Starting to storm here, so if you leave, it's because your internet or power went out. Well, uh, hope that doesn't happen for your sake. Uh, but if it does happen, thank you for stopping by, even for a bit. I appreciate it a ton. Okay. I'm gonna sneak up to it. Sneak in time. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Back over we go. <laughs> um, ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -bum -bum. <laughs> Let's switch equipment again. It just feels so right to wear the green tunic. Uh, I also want to go see if I can find May. Uh, hmm? Oh. Hmm? That stench. Did you perhaps... Did you defeat the Hinux by Rallus Pond? Yes. Oh. What? You really did? I just, I can't. Wow. Thank you, really. Mm. I knew it. The champion who saved the domain is a whole, uh, in a whole other league. I can't read. <laughs> um, is in a whole other league. Please take this. Consider it a small token of my immense gratitude. Silver rupee. I guess you beat me to dealing with that high knocks. Mm. I really want to get stronger. That's fine. You're doing great. Oh. I'm the same as usual. Mm. I need to get strong. Okay. Let's take a quick look at fishing, the gone fishing one. 
Wife washed away. Where could she be? Um, I'm going to talk with him to get a little bit more details. Uh, May. Uh, Tumbo and Key's mother. She spends her days catching fish and selling them at the general store. Mm. Unlike my, me, she is very lively and cheerful. I suppose Tumbo gets that from her. Mm -hmm. If you have any more questions, where could she be? Aww. She said she was going fishing in Zora River. Ruta's rage caused the river to swell. She may have been swept downstream. However, if Leto's group didn't see anything, maybe she passed, passed through Zora River and is beyond there. Mm. Worst case scenario, she could have been carried all the way to Lake Hylia. Uh, goodbye. Oh. Okay. Is this Lake Hylia? Wait, all the way to Lake Hylia? That, that's quite the way. Um. I mean. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, let, let me re repeat this. Beyond there. Okay. So it's in red, so I'm going to assume it's actually out in Lake Hylia. So. Let's start, like, here. And then work my way down from there. Uh. Big stretch. Ugh. It's good to be back to streaming, but I'm also not at full energy quite yet. Did I do that over there? I didn't do this here either. No. Yeah, just drop it in. That'll, that'll work great. Okay, gotta stand right on the edge. No! Yay, made it in. Nice. You found me. Korok seed. Bye bye. Uh, I just want to cross the river easily. <laughs> are. That was a little bit risky. Uh, more so than it needed to be. Come on. Come on, Link, your impeccable aim. Yeah, you found me. Ooh. 
Ooh, she might have been washed over the waterfall. I might need to take a quick break here. Uh, even though there's only like 45 minutes-ish left right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna quickly look for May. Um, hello there, dragon. I'm gonna take a real quick break. It'll just be like a two, three minute break, something like that. So be right back.
Sorry for the delay there. Um, yeah, I was just needing to take care of something. Uh, this past weekend, I uh, had to go to urgent care. Um, and I'm feeling much better now, but, you know, just taking care of something related to that. So, yeah. Like, uh, on, so I went to urgent care on Sunday, um, and then on Monday, I was feeling about 70 to 80 percent, um, on Tuesday, like 80 to 90 percent, uh, and then today I'm feeling 95-ish percent. Like, I, I'm feeling pretty good, not perfect yet, but I, I'm feeling much better. Okay, let's hop back into the game. We are looking for May somewhere. Lido's group. May Breath of the Wild. She's just over here, at this island. Which I've been to this island. Of course, for the shrine, but uh... <laughs> to the east. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Jump scare. Okay. <laughs> you see that chest there? I don't need the chest. Ah, I see you there. Catch, big catch. We got a big haul today. Fishing is so much fun. Do you know Frank? Hmm? Frank? Yes, he's my darling. My love. Why? Is something wrong? What? My darling? I'm sorry. I completely forgot. I got carried away. <laughs> I I I've got to get back home right away. Here, you can have these. Uh, Staminoca bass. So, stamina bass? Um... Be the biggest fish, but uh, okay. The, the the sentence threw me for loop. This high roll bass got to be the biggest fish by never getting caught until now. Its long life uh, results in a cooked dish that will restore a lot of stamina. Cool. Ah. Okay, now they're all yours. Now then, time for me to go home to Zora's domain. See ya. Complete. Um, let's go here before heading to Terrytown. Terrytown. I feel like there's a pun behind Terrytown. Terrytown. Why is it named such?
all is as it should be. Good morning. So happy that my mom came home. Yeah. I want to talk to Frank and May. Um, they aren't here. Well, I don't know where they are, but it seems like all is good. So let's go to, <laughs> I wanted to talk with them, but I also didn't want to waste a bunch of time with it. So let's go over here. Ba -ba -ba -boom -boom -boom. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Okay. Hi, Wolfie. Goodbye, Wolfie. Oh! All the towns are built up. The towns? All the houses are built up. Towns, houses, you know, same difference. I, I definitely know the difference between a town and a house. That's a nice little build up there. Huzzah! I'm all done breaking the rocks. I was told to stand here. Something's supposed to happen. Oh, the wedding, the wedding. Hey, Hudson. Hey! You found Azura? Thank you. Really. He and I talked earlier, and he said that he literally was a priest before he retired. You can't get more priest-like than that. And his name is Capson, so I have no objections there. It really is amazing that you were able to find someone priest-like who also had an acceptable name. Well, next is... Uh-huh. Of course, we'll have to invite guests in in order to hold a ceremony. Guests? Well, I'm talking about my boss, uh, Bolson, and my subordinate, Carson. I see. However, I've got to prepare for the ceremony, so I have, uh, so my hands are full. Do you invite them for me? Where are they? Oh. You know where they are. The boss and Carson are in Hateno Village, right? I see. Excellent. I'm counting them. Okay. Um. So Hateno Village is there. Very happy for them. <laughs> Gotta teleport there just to say, like, yes, and then teleport back. Also, before I tell you all about this and you leave, could you build some stuff for my house? Mm. Hey, mm. wait, what? Oh. Hudson's getting married and he wants me to attend the wedding? Wow, good for good on him. Okay, so I just need to head over to Terrytown? Please. Oh. Yeah, this'll be fun. Okie do. Oh, yeah. Carson, we're headed out. Finally, we've been waiting for this day. Please come back and build my house later. <laughs>
Terrytown's such a lovely little place. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, the stream alert didn't go off. There's only half an hour left, so I'm not going to send it out now, but that's a bit unfortunate. Let's have it maybe not be thundering during the ceremony. Captain, hello. Hi. Link, are you in need of a good sleep and a hearty meal? Yes. Thought so. Thanks to the benevolence of the goddess Hylia, I can offer you a place to stay. Um... Let's wait until morning. Did you sleep well? May the kindness of Goddess Hylia be ever with you. Um, let's talk with you behind the counter. Ah, hmm, Link. We can start the ceremony anytime. Talk to Hudson when you are ready to begin. Or, if you are looking for a place to stay the night, uh, please speak with me at the counter. Okay. <laughs> hey! You extended my invitation for me. Thank you. Now then, Carson and the boss Bolson are waiting for things to begin. Shall we start the ceremony? Of course. Understood. Then let's join the gathering. Ha <laughs> ha. Silence, please, everyone. We shall now begin. We are gathered here today to join Hudson and Ronson in matrimony. Hudson. Looking dapper there, Hudson. Before the eyes of the witnesses and before those of Goddess Hylia. Do you take Ronson to be your wife to have and to hold in good times and in bad? Oy. I do. Excellent, excellent. And Ronson, before the eyes of those witnesses and before those of Goddess Hylia, do you take Hudson as your lawfully wedded husband in sickness and in health? And do you also vow to name your children in accordance with the Bolson Construction Naming Guidelines? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> like, it makes sense for, for how insistent Hudson is about it, but holy shit. <laughs> uh, wait a moment. Those vows are not traditional by anyone's standards. <laughs> what makes you say that? <laughs> They're as traditional as it gets. <laughs> I don't think she means traditional in that sense of the word. <laughs> a vow of undying tradition and a vow of guidelines compliance. <laughs> I'll take that vow. <laughs> think of future generations. <laughs> She's so done with this shit. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, those are the guidelines. I do. <laughs> Excellent. 
Excellent. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so, dearly beloved, please help me in greeting this newly married couple. Wish this couple nothing but the utmost happiness as they set out on this journey of marital bliss. That was amazing. That was outstanding. Greatest wedding ceremony, 10 out of 10, no notes. <laughs> I wonder how many weddings after Breath of the Wild came out, just threw that in as part of, as part of the vows. <laughs> just as like, hey, here's a couple that are like really into Breath of the Wild. Oh, that'd be great. Hey, it's you. Thank you for attending the ceremony. Are you crying? What? No, just something in my eye. And now Terrytown looks like a real town at long last. This was all possible because of you. Can't thank you enough for all the hard work you did. All right, this is for you. Diamond times three. That's worth a lot. These were found inside the boulders we smashed when we were clearing land. Bronson and I have no use for them. You can take them. Complete. Masak, did you need me for something? Savak. <laughs> yes, yeah, Savak, that is correct. Uh, the wedding ceremony wasn't what I expected, but it was special all the same. Did you like the dress? I made it myself. No kidding. Although Hudson wanted me to weave the gems he mined into it, so every step down the aisle was a struggle. Well, that's life for you, uh, with all its twists and turns. I hope you'll stick with us through them. Yeah. I'm assuming this is your home? The dress was really pretty. I really like that dress. Oh, I fell. Okay. Came to sell. Uh, the gemstones. Are they worth any more via you? 500. Not nah, same amount. Let's talk. Uh, Grayson's there. Yo. I was just standing around when a wedding started <laughs> out of nowhere and took me by surprise. I've known Hudson for ages, and he never said a word about it. Can you believe that? <laughs> well, it was a nice wedding ceremony, so I guess all's well that ends well. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't talk to you when you were mining. I just didn't know where you were. Mm. Hiya. The bride and groom were so lovely, weren't they? Indeed. <laughs> Love, such a sublime, precious thing, you know? My best wishes to the couple. Now that the wedding's over, we should probably head back to Hateno Village. Well then. Oh. Carson, we're going home. Oh. Okay. That's the last time we're probably gonna hear that little jingle. Rivali's Gale is now ready. But yeah, um, ooh, more gear. Actually, that's just one gear. We'll take it. Okay. Yeah. I think this is a great place to wrap up stream at. Uh, thank y'all so much for hanging out. It was a really great time. Yeah. Oh wait, what am I doing? 
We're only at three hours forty-two minutes. Ah, <laughs> uh, I, I think, yeah, we'll we'll do a little bit more. I don't know. So I looked at the time and I thought it was like three fifty something. But imagine if it had wrapped up there, like perfectly at the four hour mark. I'm good at reading numbers. I'm good at timing things. I'm good with my statements. <laughs> um, I don't know if we'll be able to wrap up this side quest, but we'll see about it, you know? Hello there, you. No, it's not my first time. It's rain. Then you were meant to be wet. If you share my outlook on life, then why not let me show you around the village? Sure. Ah. My daughter is capable hands these days, uh, so I've got a lot of time on my hands. So it might be nice to do a good turn for the village where I was born and raised, so I volunteered as a tour guide. I'll show you somewhere something really special. Sure. That that was interesting. This is the general store, East Wind. They sell a lot of you know what? No. Now on with the tour. Never mind. I'm sorry. I don't want to do the tour. I'm sure. I'm sure you're great. I'm sure you're grand. Hi. Um. Uh, oh. Let's sell some gemstones. Uh, let's start with Amber. Let's sell, like, 20 of these. And then let's sell 20 of these. And that should probably be good enough for anything that I'm going to do. It's not very dusty there. You probably don't need to be sweeping with a broom. The music for Hateno Village is really peaceful. Uh. Hey, that was a nice ceremony. That's right. I've known Hudson for a long time, and honestly, that was the happiest I've ever seen the guy. Warms the heart. Well. Guess I should get back to work. If you need anything, come talk to me. Mm -hmm. Hi. Need something for me? Uh, build me something. Uh, gear displays. Uh, weapon mount. Ready to pay up. Okie doo. Mm. Hang on a sec. Gotta get my mind right. Hmm. Olson Construction, what's our credo? If you can't pull the saw, oh. then don't push it. <gasps> sure? <laughs> Strange. <laughs> <laughs> Practically perfect, if I do say so myself. I'm a little jealous. Uh, let's see how far apart they are spaced. I think that's three of them. Oh. Build me something. Gear displays, another weapon Ooh. mount. Oh. Hey. Thunk, zwip, hammer, saw. Good rhythm, good job. 
sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Easy there, chatty. A little space? Let me get where I'm going before you talk to me. Well. Build me something. Gear displays. Bow mount. Some construction instruction. What's our credo? Any nail could fail, so don't let your h hammer stammer. <laughs> These puns, they're getting out of hand. <laughs> Give it a look. And sit. Build me something. Gear display, another bow mount. Okie doo. Mm. Oh, yeah. Carson, are we studs of stud work? You're darn tootin' we are. Ah. I'm with you. <laughs> I love their little yell. <laughs> Take a look and when you get a chance. I think that's all the bow spots, maybe. Maybe. There might be like more bow spots. I could see up to two more bow spots. Oh. 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 Okie do, house, I'm coming for you. Hi. Carson, awaken your inner animal. We are beasts of construction. Oh. Ben waiting. <laughs> Practically perfect, if I do say so myself. I'm a little jealous. Okay. I want to see if I can get in frame for this. Sleep time. The next day. Mm. Morning. Need something for me? Build me some. What you want? Gear display? Shield mount? Mm. Uh, I'm ready to pay up. Okie doo. Oh, oh. Time for some construction instruction. Oh. Carson, awaken your inner animal. We are beasts of construction. Ah. Ben wait. <laughs> if I do say so myself, I'm a little jealous. Okay, so now this time, I want to be like here-ish. Oh. Hi, build me something. House exterior, sign with my oh. name. We just get to hear a lot of men yelling. <laughs> Not in frame. Oh, well. What's our credo with seven colors of paint? Oh. We've heard this one already. <laughs> you should take a look. I do want to see this. Link's house. Mm. 
um, let's get to here. Uh, build me something. House exterior. Plant some flowers. If there's sign, I'm gonna be a little bit concerned for the flowers. Okie doo. House, I'm coming for you. Wholesome construction, what's our credo? If you can't pull the saw, then don't push it. Uh, those are some nice flowers over there. Perfectly installed. Give it a look. Uh, I will give it a look. It almost looked like... Hold on. That looks like a set of words. A am I am I just seeing things? Please climb up this. Okay, I'll climb up this way. Um, Lynx House, Breath of the Wild, Flowers. Hmm. Interesting. One last thing to install. Uh, build me something. House exterior. Plant trees. I'm ready to pay up. Okie do. Time for some construction instruction. What's our credo? Thunk, whip, hammer, saw. Good rhythm, good job. They were really pushing it there. Ah. Hey, some little trees. Nice. Give it a look. Huh? You, you housing monster. You got everything? Ah, s such is the way of youth. Driven, even reckless, some might say. Well, since you bought everything, I threw in some free furniture. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, at least I could do. Carson, look lively. Ah. I'm with you. <sighs> well, I am Tucker. I couldn't swing a ball-peen hammer right now, let alone an axe. Break time, baby. Complete. Oh. Hi. Uh, you okay? I can't complain, you know? Though there is one thing. I just decided to retire as of, uh, as the luminary president, architect, and design lead of Folsom Construction. You can travel and find me a spouse to settle down with. How about you? Things to do, place to see, right? Better get on it. Time waits for no one. Uh, that neck charm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you like this? It's an heirloom passed down through several generations of the Bolson fam. It's a necklace that brings happiness. <laughs> At the end of Hudson's wedding, uh, did you see the showers of flower petals? Uh, yes, I definitely did. Heh, <laughs> I'm glad. Proves your quality. Uh, those flower petal showers can't be seen by the vapid or disenchanted. The infinite falling petals represent endless love. Gorgeous, right? Um. Er, 
Why don't you see if you can get this dance to catch on? You ready for this? Uh-oh. New construction, house reduction, wall destruction, remodel, auction, anything a house could need. <laughs> that name again is Bolson. Yeah, yeah. B -b 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 Bolson Construction. Da da da. Okay, Bolson. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. Morning there. Oh. Thanks for the big purchase. Seriously though, uh, well done. Where'd a kid like you get that kind of dough? Thanks to you, I'm getting a plum bonus. Me and my girlfriend are gonna grab a tasty meal. Good for you. Nice little dining room area. Got some stuff under the uh, stairs here. Got a nice little sleeping area. A, a nice little touch is if you could replace um, this with a silent princess. Yeah. Like, take this. Can't hold that here. Well. But I, I, I'd like it if I could put a silent princess there. Uh, I'll get more shields and stuff to put there. Okay. So, we finished two big side quests today. Uh, and we finished quite a few smaller side quests as well. Um, I feel pretty good with the progress today. Uh, also, let's not forget, we finished the last six shrines for Breath of the Wild tonight. And I'm very happy with that. Um, really enjoyed everything with this game so far. Like, I have my complaints here and there, but that's like me trying to critique a game that I think is just like fantastic you know I, I think this is a really good game um it, it might be its age that's like six years old there's like a handful of things that are like basically making it uh, like preventing it from me being like the best game or whatever but i i think i think this is a really good game i've had a really good time with it um and yeah i think on saturday you see, I'm torn. Like, I, I want to continue playing Breath of the Wild. I just don't know if I should do that on stream or just, like, do the quests off stream. Um, because I'm not 100%ing. I'm just, like... Yeah. Should I should I go for Ganon on Saturday? Should I do more quests? Maybe I'll put it up for a community poll. So, yeah. Uh, in any case, I'm going to thank everyone so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, if you did and you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so. Uh, I will be back on Friday with hopefully some more um, uh, Divinity Original Sin uh, with my friend group. Uh, and then Saturday will be some more Breath of the Wild. Uh, whether that's just questing or some questing and then going to uh, fight Ganon. So yeah. Uh, thank you all so much and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, friends.